All right, so we're going to be doing this question. So it says a parallel plate with 9.28 joules of energy has a separation 2.3 millimeters. The first part, that separation decreases and the line is disconnected, or the energy is disconnected. In the second part, the energy distance decreases and the energy is still connected and it's asking for the um, new energy in both cases. So for me, this energy they give us is going to be potential energy. So it's going to be joules. Convert that and it's just going to be the same in both situations. Once again, in millimeters, let's make sure we convert that. Um, so we're wanting for energy, so a different type of use. We're going to do a ratio. So we know some equations. And then we also know, because this has the u, but there's no distance in here. So we need something that puts these values into distance. So we have C equals constant area over distance, which we can use. And just rearranging that, you get this. So you know, if you look at other descriptions of how this problem works, they all have a thing that goes from 2.3 millimeters to 1.15. So it's a very easy one half conversion and they don't actually do any math. So you don't have that. We're going to do a ratio. So EO is a constant. So basically, that's not changing. So we're going to have D1 C1 is equal to D, D2 C2. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. C1 equals 1.35 times 10 to the negative third C2. And we're going to go ahead and divide those and get C1 equals 0.587 C2, which is also equal to C2 equals 1.7037 C1. So this is our conversion factor. It's not 2, but it's 1.7. Since C is in the bottom, I'm working at this equation right here. U is divided by C, basically, so it's going to decrease by a factor of 1.7. So we're going to take our potential energy and divide this by this 1.7037. This is going to give you your answer. Of 5.45 joules. For part A. Okay, for part B, we still have the same separation. So this, these ratios that we made over here are still going to be the same. However, now it is still connected to the potential source of energy. So there is some sort of voltage running through there. So we're going to use the second equation of 1 half CV squared because there is voltage. In the first one, there was no voltage. It was disconnected, so we could use just a charge. So we see that C is now directly related to U, as in it is multiplied. So we're going to take our U, we're going to multiply it by this ratio we made. We're going to get a nice 15.81 joules, and that is our answer for B.